Chapter 1, Banned from Facebook. All right, so I want to start off by taking you again on a chronology through what we've gone through, where we started from, and how things uh, have gotten us to where we are and what we've learned along the process that uh, we're just using as best practices and what we need to follow going forward uh, so that we just am able to replicate the success uh, that we're having right now. And so kind of want to start back at the beginning. So winter 2014. Uh, this is just uh, a couple months after I join the, the MFA team. I partner up with Todd. And so I come in. I'm just thrilled because I'm like, man, I know there's so much. Like Our stuff converts like crazy. Our, our reviews are amazing. We're getting such phenomenal results with our clients. Like, man, we just pour the gas on, on, on the traffic. We're going we're gonna to blow up like crazy. And so, you know, we're spending, you know, about one to two K a day, a, a day at the time, which is good. Not, not nearly as high as we want, but you know, it's pretty solid. Um, we're converting amazing. Uh, we're seeing a positive ROI in the first seven to 10 days. And it's really, really exciting. And then all of a sudden, Facebook bans our account, shuts us down. Okay. Uh, spring of 2015. They shut our account down. Our main account gets flagged. And I'm kind of like really surprised. And at this point, uh, Facebook has since changed uh, with their service. But at this point, everything's just an automated email. So the account gets shut down. Todd messages me, kind of freaked out. Uh, I'm freaked out. We're both upset. We email Facebook like, hey, what's the deal? We've been running. We've run tens of thousands of dollars of traffic. What's going on? And we get no response for about two weeks. Finally, we just get an automated response, not even a human that just says, your account has been you know, determined that it's not in the best interest of Facebook to leave you off, blah, 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 blah. There is no recourse to this email. There is no reconsideration. You're done. And so the account shut, and we're like, holy cow, like, boom, just like that, leads gone, new customer sales gone. And so, uh, so kind of take a deep breath, take a step back. I talked to a, a couple people I know, and sort of the messages, start over again, start fresh, start with a new name, new page, new account, make everything new, start over with a clean slate. And, uh, you know, at this point, it's not really, really clear why we were banned. I'll kind of go over that in just a moment. So we start over again, and boom, we get banned again. At this point, over a period of about, I would say, three to four months, we have three separate accounts that get shut down. Uh, one of them was being run by an agency before I took it over. Uh, I, I'm sorry, just to be clear, didn't get banned when I took it over. The first one got banned while an agency was running it. Uh, we then set up a brand new fresh account. Uh, and so we had both ad accounts and biz, business managers. I think it was like a total of three, if not four, total ad accounts slash business managers that all got banned, shut down. I'm not just talking about a disapproved ad, uh, which is certainly the initial flag. And it's kind of like a little mark against your account. And we don't want to do that. Uh, but I'm talking about fully like shut down. You cannot use Facebook. You cannot advertise. And so through that process, I started to look at why we were banned. And, and again, I started to talk to uh, colleagues and friends that I have that run a ton of traffic that are very, very successful and uh, to sort of feel them out. And sort of I got two different things that I heard in terms of why we were having issues. And the first one was uh, claims. And so Facebook, uh, all ad channels, excludes AdWords, uh, but especially Facebook, uh, is just they just they don't want claims like direct claims uh, to be specific. So when you say here is how you can lose X in Y days, here's how you can generate Z in just blah 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 minutes, like anything that's a direct claim is a major issue, and that was. I want to say ironically, it wasn't ironic, it was sort of catastrophic because at the time, uh, this is after the launch of Six Figure Funnel Formula, and so right in the name of the product is a claim, right? It's a six figure funnel form. You're going to learn how to make six figures from this formula, uh, which was great to the market, converted like crazy, super successful product and marketing campaign, but from a traffic standpoint and compliance, major claim, major issue. The second reason I heard, which was really, really frustrating, was that, hey, Facebook doesn't like squeeze pages. Now, over the past decade, you know, running and building and scaling multiple online uh, businesses, like it's just always the process, right? Great ad, great content, drive them, capture the lead, follow up, convert them. That's just the process we, we work through. And so a squeeze page is just instrumental to that process. And it was really frustrating hearing this because I knew 
I knew that there was something more going on because I saw other people, other competitors in our space, whether it was, you know, the Kearns, the Brunsons, the Dices. I saw other people who are, you know, direct competitors, our colleagues, and they were doing the same, you know, they were doing squeeze pages. They were doing that stuff, and yet they were still running traffic consistently. And so um, I, I really was sort of backed into a corner, and I felt really, really powerless at this point because I was like, well, I, they're say, Facebook's not telling us specifically what's wrong. We can't talk to a person or a human. Nobody's available to discuss this. We're just sort of blindly guessing, you know. Half the people I'm talking to that I respect are telling me it's because you're using squeeze pages, even though I know everybody else, our competitors, are doing that too. Uh, and then there's the issue around the claims, and it's just sort of a really frustrating issue. And it became uh, just even worse because the impact on the business was first of all, our lead flow immediately dropped by about 90 to 95%. So our new lead flow was just, it was like literally being in the desert, someone just cut off the, the water line. Uh, and as a result of that, our, our new sales quickly dropped. We were then forced to rely on the back end to meet revenue goals. So thankfully we have a, a super loyal tribe because of the work we do, the results we produce. Uh, our tribe members are super loyal. Uh, and so even though our list wasn't growing, we were able to hit the revenue goals we needed to continue moving forward. But it was only through back end products because acquiring any significant volume of new customers because our our ad buying had been crippled uh, was not an option and so it was just boom it was just always relying on that back end to grow uh, to meet our revenue goals our mailable list was continually shrinking right because every time you mail you have a handful of people that aren't subscribed you have a handful of email addresses that become bad or outdated and so our, our email list which is the lifeline of any online business I still remember the first time I heard Dan Kennedy say it he's like you know, you could strip everything away from me, take every dollar I have, take every, take my business, take my office, take everything. But if you give me, if you leave me with my list, I'll be a millionaire again within 12 months. And that's the truth. Everything, you know, the, the, the value, the business is in the list and ours is shrinking, right? It's shrinking. It's literally shrinking, going backwards because of uh, the issues that we've had with ad buying. And so essentially the business is crippled. Uh, you know, we're still producing great product. We're still changing lives. We're still generating tremendous results, but in terms of like really moving forward the way we, we, we want to, the no, way we know we should, it's just not possible uh, because of everything we've gone through. And so I started exploring our alternative traffic. Um, I said, we got to do something again, because at this point we've been flagged three separate times. I'm like, literally, I need to be in therapy because I'm you know, not really, but if there was Facebook therapy, I might join it though, if anybody knows about that. But um, Literally, I was like, you know, that's it. We've tried this so many times, and all of a sudden, you know, we'd sp I'd spend days and days and days and days and days setting up a new account, doing it just the way I thought it was supposed to be done, and then just like that, boom, without recourse, without notice, red flag, gone, done, done, gone, banned. And so I was like, we got to try something else. So we started AdWords, and AdWords. Uh, I think AdWords has a place in businesses where that are very search driven, meaning if you know people specifically search for I need an attorney in this particular location or I'm looking for a, uh, a, a construction crew or an electrician you know who can do this you know that kind of stuff search driven stuff AdWords is really good for us we found that AdWords was just it's never worked it's just never generated results because the type of uh, individuals we help aren't going on Google and searching how do I increase my conversion rates on my, you know, on my back end? How do I, you know, increase my overall customer value? Like they're not asking those questions on AdWords. They're going to forums. They're going to trainings. They're going to summits. They're not, they're not just searching for it. And so AdWords uh, was just a bust. Couldn't move the needle. Uh, I then got connected and referred to an, uh, an outsourced company to run Facebook ads, which was an absolute disaster burnt through uh, an exorbitant amount of money that Todd and I at least Todd promised he would never bring it up again and we never talk about it it's such a sore spot of just what a waste it was uh, and just really really frustrating we tried some paid solo drops uh, email drops and again I think in certain niches uh, I think paid solo drops can work however for us uh, any list access we could find that was a paid solo drop was just in that biz op side uh, which is not what we do, right? We, we, we help the serious entrepreneur, small business owner, sm solopreneur grow, scale their businesses. The, 
hey, do you want to make some money on the side, you know, without having a business and without doing any, like, that's not who we are. That's the kind of stuff that works for solo drops. Uh, and that's not what we do. And so solo drops, uh, we tried a couple things, uh, just no signs of life. Uh, we tried Bing for a little bit and results were eh, but just no scale. Like the volume just isn't big enough, uh, the, the volume available. And so the, the big takeaway, and you're going to see this little gold nugget right here, and this is the first time you're seeing it. You'll see it throughout uh, the training is whenever you see these little gold nuggets, these are, these are just core principles that you'll want to reference. Remember, write them down, put a post-it note, stick it on your laptop, don't forget it. And our big realization here was that Facebook is the traffic source for our business. Like it is the traffic source. Like there is no other, well, maybe AdWords, maybe YouTube. Have you heard about, like, again, you know, to each their own, but I'm talking about for us, for the amount of money we spent, for the years we spent, I can tell you unequivocally, nothing is going to be the traffic generator of new leads and new customer sales like Facebook is. And so, uh, so there I am, right? So this is about a year and a half ago, uh, going from band to trying all these other channels to now realizing, wow, Facebook really is the only thing that's going to allow us to grow MFA the way we want us to, you know, the way we want and need and desire and dream to grow. And so, uh, so in the next chapter, I'll talk about what we did uh, next.